pressure time for you and I. We um, spoke about the Boomers roster, the 24, last year, uh, la- last week, last year, last week, and um, we we both did some homework where we're, we've gone down. So from what I understand, that they have to pick 15 within the next couple of weeks. They have to cut, they have to cut it down to 15. That 15 will, will then go into a training camp um, in, I believe it's LA, early June-ish or July. I think it's early July. Early July, they'll go over there. They'll complete a um, a training camp, and then they'll cut they'll cut the next three, which then takes a squad of twelve to officially go. There's there's some dates that I don't have right now that haven't been announced, but they have to they basically have to cut it down to twelve by a certain period. So they're going to get to move on with that. So we we have decided before we start. Yeah, before we start, you don't have Andrew Gaze on that fucking list, do you? <laughs> Because your list is a little outdated these this, this episode. <laughs> he's probably he'd probably still want to play, Gazy. Probably still want to take some minutes from one of the young fellas. Well, the thing is, he looks the same. He no, looked the know, same he when he was like seventeen than he is fucking whatever age he is now. Yeah, the silver assassin. Okay, I'll, I'll go first then. Just to now, the, this would be my rough starting five. This could be obviously tweaked depending on how things go. But I would start. Okay, um, as an hour, I would start Ben Simmons at the one, one slash four. Patty Mills at the two. Joe Ingles at the three, Matisse Thibel at the four, now and, and Aaron Baines at the five. This lineup is very, very multi-dimensional and, and positions can change. So Ben can go to the four, Thibel can play, you know, two, three, four at times. Um, and then you've got Bainesy, Aaron Baines, um, who we'll talk about a little bit later. He's not playing a whole lot right now, but he can stretch the floor shooting the three ball. Um, so I like that for my starters. My bench, I have Dalavadova. Chris Goulding, I think, brings some shooting, some firepower. Um, if we need a, an ISO bucket every now and then, I have Josh Giddy in there for obvious reasons. I think whether he plays or not, I think having him on that squad is very, very important to, to set the, the bar for what, what he's going to need to do in the future for our national team and the culture and all that. Josh Green from the Dallas Mavs, um, having a fantastic year, especially at the defensive end, I think, for, for a rookie. Um, Ryan Brokoff, I had, I, I put him in. He's had a, a disrupted year, COVID, um, moving back from the States to, to, to Melbourne. Now he's got an eye injury, he's in and out of the lineup. But in my opinion, you can't not take enough shooting to, to an Olympic Games. And he you mean Brokeroff? Brokeroff. You mean yeah. Brokeroff, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Me, I didn't give, know who this Brokeroff character is. <laughs> you give me shit. Yeah, yeah. Brokeroff. <laughs> um, but you need shooting at these <laughs> events. So that was a main reason why, even though he hasn't had a great year, he's still a guy you put in that corner spot when you're running a set and no one is leaving that dude. So that's the reason why I had him now. Zay Xavier Cooks, I had in um, a disrupted season, injuries, but a guy that can play multiple positions. I like multiple position guys on our roster. Um, I think he's in the 15. Mitch Creek has had a, had a great year in the NBL, shooting the three ball at a much better clip. Uh, a reason why he initially got cut from the 2019 squad was he could not knock a three ball down in camp um, to the point where he actually felt bad because some of these shots were going in and out. They'd hit the rim six times and bounce out. Just couldn't make one. We cut him. Xavier Cooks actually got hurt and then we brought him back in and he was fantastic for us. But since then, he's got in the gym and, and I think he's shooting at 40% almost in the NBL, which is fantastic at, at volume, not not feet set, dare threes at volume. So I put him in my squad. Jock Landale, um, he's in there for obvious reasons, having a, having a good year with Melbourne United. And then Nick Kay, who had a fantastic World Cup run for us. Um, he's playing over in Spain. And Isaac Humphreys, I had just an extra big body, needs size. And that's my 15. Now I've got now Kay Landale. They can flip flop four or five. Um, you've got Baines in there at the five and Humphreys. That's probably my, my they're my four or five men. Um, you probably could argue, do you want another big body? You could, but we'll see how that goes. So my cuts were Dingadell, which is for obvious reasons. He just got cut by the, the uh, Illawarra Hawks and that. Brian Gorgian coaches the national team, so that was a no-brainer. Hope you didn't have him in there because uh, I don't think he's even going to show up for the camp. Who is that? Who is that, folks? The last guy? Ding Adele. Ding Adele. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had him cut. Yeah. I had him cut. Uh, Mitch McCarron, I had cut. Dow White, I had cut. Will Magne, I had cut. Brock Modem, who's in- – on the fringe, but I had him cut. Thon Maker cut. Uh, Mitch Norton cut. Duop Breathe. Now, Dante Exon was probably the hardest cut, in my opinion. He was the last cut for that 15. Um, you could argue that you know, you could have him in instead of maybe Giddy, maybe Josh Green, but Exum hasn't played this season. He's he's dealt with a lot of injuries. He pulled his calf. I haven't read he pulled his calf in January, February. I haven't read too much since then. So I don't know if they've just shut him down and get him ready for next season. But he's got a very important off season coming ahead. Um if he wants to remain in the NBA where he needs to put some work in over there and and um 
you know, try to solidify himself for the next five, ten years. So I think it's almost smarter in a way for him to to not not play for the national team and, and get his body right and, and get healthy. So they were my cuts. Um, it wasn't too hard for the most part, but there were. I mean, Dante Exum was probably the hardest one. Um, Brock Moden was 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 fringy, but the rest were were pretty cut and dry. What do you have? Well, folks, um, I sort of had a lot of the same guys that you did. Um, on your team. So the starters, I would, I would just tweak it a little. I, I would tweak a little bit. I wouldn't have Thibel starting just for the lack of shooting. I'm going to have my guy Broker off starting, you know, so I need a good accountant in the top five. Uh, Ben Simmons and Patty Mills with Broker off, uh, Ingles, obviously, and then Baines at the five. I'm not great with lineups or whatever. I like, I like Ryan shooting. I like the ball moving, the shooting. Now the lack of defense could hurt. I, I know that, you know, Broker off could give Ingles uh, um, 10 fingers to get, to get to the rim and dunk. And the same thing can go for Ingles giving Broker off 10 fingers to get the dunk. But um, I do think that, you know, I like that lineup, whatever. Thibel could start. I just don't like the lack of shooting with Thibel and Simmons. And I like the, I like the defender, the stopper coming off the bench with the athlete, you know, being an athlete as well. But here's the, here's the 15 that I chose. Della Vadova, Giddy, Mills, Simmons. Green, Ingles, Brokoff, or Brokeroff in English, uh, Golding, Dybul, Mitch Creek, Baines. This is the one difference I had with you. I cho- chose the kid Duop Reef, Isaac Humphreys, Nick Kay, and Will Magne. Is it Magne or Magne? Magne, yep. Magne, yep. You had him in. Wow. So who, who, have you, who are your cuts? My cuts would be Norton, Exum, uh, McDowell, White, McCarron, Longdale. Although I did like Longdale, he was probably the toughest cut for me because I sort of did like him watching, you know, watching him. Who the hell is Lawndale? Does he cut lawns? Yeah, he should. But yeah, <laughs> That's Longdale my guy. is that, it Longdale? Jock's making the team, bro. Yeah, you're, you're, you're crazy, man. But okay, yeah. so so again, I don't know no, a lot I'm about the team. Go so, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Who else you got? Yeah, and Thought Maker, uh, Brock. Cooks and Ad- uh, Dang Adele. Those are my cuts. Again, I-, I don't know anything about the roster. <laughs> so you had Cooks and Landale out. That were your differences. Yeah. I had Cooks and Landale in, and you added Wreath. And who was your other add? Magne. Magne. Yeah, Magne. Magne. Yeah. yeah. And Magne's, yeah. Magne's, you know, he's about to play this weekend, I believe, or next weekend with Perth. So um, we'll see how he goes. Hasn't played a whole lot of basketball over the last couple of months, um, being, been on the bench with, with New Orleans. But I mean, pretty close. I mean, I think they're. Some of them are coin flips. Some of them are hard. Um, I think the twelve, the twelve is going to be much harder to pick, especially if you know we're not going to be at the camp. So the, the twelve is going to be a tough one because you, you essentially need to eliminate three of those fifteen. Folks, guys. out of out of my cuts, what would you say, pro? You're out of your fucking mind. These guys are these. This one or two players are definitely fucking in. I think the Cooks one is que- is 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 a, is a coin flip because he's he's been injured. Um, he, he's hopefully coming back this Thursday for his first game with the Kings. Um, he's been injured the last two years, really on and off the court, hasn't got healthy. So I I, I totally agree with that one. Um, you could replace him with Magne or Reith. The Landale one, I think, is 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 a tough one. Um, I think he'll make the team. So I think the the Landale one, yeah, will be good. Okay. 